The flames destroyed one home and then spread to a neighboring house as Metro Fire investigated as arson. ABC 10 spoke to the son of the homeowner, who says they took legal action trying to evict the residents, but they remained in the house. I asked the question, how many times does this have to happen? This was a great little house in Antelope. Barry Mathis is a property manager based out of Roseville. We have a government that seems hell-bent on picking sides. Mathis says law passed by state lawmakers have caused a so-called squatting problem in California and says it can take months to evict someone. While squatting is illegal, Mathis says squatters take up vacant homes and refuse to leave. The system became vulnerable during COVID-19, where the laws protecting tenants from being evicted delayed the process to evict squatters. But the separate issue is once you go into that eviction process, it would work okay as long as the courts were able to keep up. Mathis says the courts are underfunded. He says people can't change these laws that are fair for the tenants and the homeowners renting out their property. He points to Florida, where a recently passed law that now classifies squatting as criminal trespassing. If they don't belong in the house, get them out. You know, if they have a lease that's written on a Christmas card, that's probably not legit. And I think the average street cop can figure that out. And Mathis believes this will make some people think twice about whether they want to invest in a second home to rent, guys. Well, talk about a nightmare situation, Garth Paul. What can people do to protect themselves? Yeah, so Mathis says there's three things. The first one, make sure you check up on your property regularly. The second one is make sure the locks are secure. And the third one is if someone isn't leaving, get professional help right away.